Hi, this is Brian from Provision Studios, and I'm just going to do a little uh, tutorial here, or an introduction to Pro Tools. Um, basically, uh, I do a little small project studio out of my home. I have a MacBook Pro that um, with an Mbox Mini uh, interface, little two mono input uh, Mbox Mini, and I also have a um, a PC running Pro Tools as well with a uh, PreSonus Fire Studio uh, Project 8 input interface, FireWire interface, where I, I do full rec band recordings on it. Obviously, with uh, an Mbox Mini, I really can't do a full band. I'll do me throw ideas on it um, or just mix down on even. Uh, either way, uh, I'm just going to show you how to set up a, uh, a session in Pro Tools real quick and. Uh, Go into a little bit of uh, you know how to you know start a track and arm the track for recording and looking at it uh, the setup window. Anyway, what you do is you have Pro Tools open. You go to File, New Session. Basically, what you what you do is is you have this new session window pop up. You have two options here uh, for your session. You got Create Session from Template or Create Blank Session. If you go Create Session from Template, basically what it is is you've got these. Uh, pre-installed templates that you can uh, utilize uh, from um, Avid. You can see you've got songwriter, post-production, music, and let's say you've got guitar. You want to just come in and, and throw a guitar idea down. This is where you could see some presets there, low CPU usage and the like. Uh, post-production, let's see you want to have a certain like basic stereo mix. And, and what, and I'm not going to go into that right now, but th these are some options you, you, you'll you see you'll have. Basically, what I do is I go, you know, from a blank session. I normally go to 48 kilohertz and 24-bit. And you click OK, and then I'm going to name it Test. In fact, I've already got one open here. I'm going to do Test 2. Okay. Basically, what it's doing is building your edit window. So what we're looking at now is the edit window from Pro Tools 9. If you hit uh, Command or Apple Plus or Equal Sign, you flip over to the Mix uh, window. I'm going back to the edit window. What we're looking at over here, we got our Regions area, which is where all your audio regions will appear. Over on the left is your tracks window, where your tracks, as you build them, uh, will appear. Starting a track from, from scratch in Pro Tools is real easy. You simply go to track, new. Your new tracks window comes up. You can see here you got create, one. You can have multiple tracks. Uh, track format, you can have mono or stereo. Audio, track, auxiliary input. Master Fader, MIDI Track, or Instrument Track are your options there, and your tracks can be sample or tick based. All right, so let's say, for instance, um, you want two mono audio tracks. If you would click on this plus, you'd see that it gives you another track input option. Let's say at that point you maybe want two stereo audio tracks. Again, you could build up. Let's say you want two mono auxiliary inputs. There, that's where you would put, you know, maybe some reverb, flanger, or chorus effects. And then again, if you wanted to add maybe two MIDI tracks, they would be tick-based. Again, you can even go to as many as you want to do here. Um, let's say you wanted to go two instrument tracks and again they can either be mono or stereo anyway for this demo video here I'm going to do one mono audio track and uh, basically what we're looking at here is you got your audio track inserts sends here's your IO which is going to be your uh, interfaces inputs again I have a, a, a avid inbox mini so I've only got two inputs and you can see you got your 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 in out, your I O. You got your your output is right now is set to mix bus. For me, that's my main out. 
but you can see that you can you can route it, you know, to as many different ways as you want, you know. Uh, for this purpose, I'm not going to get into any of that right now. I'm just showing you how to pr pretty much load up a, a new track and, and get recording. You would arm your track for or enable it for recording by clicking on the uh, record and enable uh, icon there. You At that point, you would click on the arm the session for recording and then you would click the play icon what you're doing there once you click that play icon you your track then becomes live and the session is in it starts recording I do recommend before you record anything if you've got a track you double click on it and you name it let's say I want to record a bass now you can see that right there it has changed from audio one to bass. I'm going to click Apple equals, go over to our mix view. You can see here it is now a bass track in mono mode. And here's your inserts and sends. I recommend that you do uh, the naming process before you record because if you keep it, if you record, let's say, 10 tracks and they all are audio one, audio two, or whatever. Your regions list is going to have a bunch of audio, 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 audio takes in your regions. Uh, and it can get confusing. If you name your track before you record, your region will be called Base One. That's for this purpose. I'm just going to click go there and it's recording. I stop it. Base One. If I go track, new track. And I got another mono track here, and I name it guitar, and I arm it, and then record, and um, it records, you stop it, that's guitar one. So you can see how it, it could be uh, really helpful to have all your regions named to coincide with the track that they go on. Um, real quick, I'm going to go over the setup window. Setup uh, is where you, you're, you're going to set up your, your pretty much your interface. Uh, hardware is where you're going to see whatever interface you have. Like I said, I have the Avid Mbox Mini. And you can see here, it, it's handy because if you have something that will generate its own clock, its word clock, my Mbox Mini will not. This is if you wanted that your interface to be where everything runs off of, this is where you would do it. I can't. My Mbox Mini does not have that option, so I'm going off of my internal clock source on my uh, MacBook Pro. Next, um, playback engine is, a, is probably the most important window when it comes to recording. Your hardware buffer size is the reason why. When you're recording, you want your buffer to be low. The lower, the less latency you will have. Uh, experiment with that. Record and see how low you can go <laughs> before uh, you you know you don't uh, you stop having your latency issues. And you are mixing. When you are done recording and now you are in mixing phase, I recommend to go as high as you can go. The higher the buffer size when you are mixing, uh, the less clock, uh, clicks and pops you will, you will uh, have in your mixing uh, session. Anyway, recording, low buffer, mixing, high buffer. Simple rule. Also, host processors. If you've got four processors, use them. If you've got eight, use them. You know, the, we, we pay for these processors, these multi-core processors now. You might as well utilize them. CPU usage, uh, I recommend if, if you're using Pro Tools, Pro Tools is a resource hog, go as high as your, as your interface will allow and do not have any background uh, uh, things going in there, in any, anything running in the background because uh, that will also give you problems. I normally keep all this stuff, uh, playback buffer and all that set at the uh, default settings. Uh, Pro Tools is normally pretty pretty good there with uh, having that stuff set properly. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to uh, sign off now. If you guys have any questions, you can uh, uh, check them out uh, or you can get, drop them to me here. You can also um, uh, go to my website, which is provisionstudios.com.
dot com p r o v i z i o n s t u d i o s dot com. There's an email option there. And thanks again for watching. Uh, my next video, I will get more into actually bringing in uh, waves or, or recording an instrument and uh, working with plugins. All right, you have a great day.